Hello everyone, my name is Juan Carlos Piñeros, I'm from Bogotá, Colombia, and today I'm going to talk about how to use compressors in Reaper. For that, I recorded myself playing the guitar, some bas a basic short progression, so let's hear it without any effect. <laughs> in the wave the louder parts right here 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 and in general the dynamic range some louder parts some quieter ones and that's in general good but sometimes we can get too loud or too quiet and some effects could help us in that situation specifically the compressor is going to help us to reduce the louder parts so maybe here here and here we could reduce those parts to have a more balanced performance of, of our part and it's good for our mix. So let's add the compressor by clicking here in FX and then select Recomp and then Add. So these are the default parameters. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the threshold, the attack and release, the auto makeup and the ratio. Those are the main parameters that you have to have in mind uh, when it comes to compressors. So let's talk about the threshold. So the threshold indicates at which point the compressor is going to start reducing the volume. So for instance, if I put it right here, everything about that threshold is going to be reduced. And the ratio indicates at which level is going to be reduced. One to one indicates no reduction. Uh, but I could uh, increase it so for instance 2 to 1 would indicate that 2 input to 1 output let's hear it so it's clearer so everything about this level is being compressed and you can see here in the red bar how much is being compressed and here is the output so if I reduce that everything about that level is going to be compressed in a ratio of 2 to 1. I could increase the ratio, so it's going to be very, very quiet. So let's... Now the attack and release are going to show us how fast the effect is going to react. The attack is going to show us how quickly the compressor is going to start reducing the level after we are about threshold and the release is the contrary, is how fast the compressor is going to start not reducing the level after we are below the threshold. So this is something that you want to play with, it's something that you are going to learn by doing. And the last part uh, that I'm going to talk about is the auto makeup. Since we are reducing the dynamic range, the auto makeup is going to uh, improve that we're just going to make up for those reductions level that we insert let's hear it and it's clear that way so i'm going to reduce the threshold and use the auto makeup and you can hear that it's going to sound louder So it's making up for, for what we reduce. There are some presets. So let's see acoustic guitar and let's hear it, how it sounds. You can see the attack is 15, release the threshold and the ratio is six to one. And let's hear them. And now with auto makeup. You can notice that the volume increases in general so this is very important auto makeup would increase the whole volume the volume of the whole part so sometimes people prefer to use the fader after the compressor is, be, is set so that you can notice the difference between using the compressor and without using it so that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching and i would 